Hi guys and welcome to VR Essentials. We're live from Singapore where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how now virtual desktop is officially available from the Oculus Quest store. By the way, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you and a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Eldridge Felder, Leonard Brown and Michael. Are you ready? Let's rock this joint. Hi guys, bonjour, comment ça va? So today we have some huge news which is all about virtual desktop who are now finally approved by Facebook to be in the Oculus Quest store, the official one, not the App Labs. Wow, for the first time in so long as they were dethroned, why? Because Facebook didn't want the competition, that's why. And you know, it's great news and congratulations to Guy Godin who is the official, of course, the developer and the guy behind virtual desktop. So that's right, just in case you're not used to, you don't know who virtual desktop is, basically it's a software that you can install on your Oculus Quest that enables you to stream any of your PC VR games directly in VR. Now they're not all compatible, but the list is growing a lot. So I would say about 60 to 70% of the games are most undoubtedly compatible. And also if you can't play all your actual VR games within 3 or 6 VR 360, you can also play your other games, your normal games and watch your movies using virtual desktop as it transports you into a virtual reality environment, a little bit like big screen where you have your private cinema or private different rooms that you can choose, different scenes, and then you can use your keyboard or your Xbox controller, whatever it might be, to actually play your games on a virtual screen or of course to watch movies and all that kind of stuff. Now, when virtual desktop was dethroned, we all didn't really know what was gonna happen but luckily they managed to hook up with SideQuest, which is where everybody has actually been able to install virtual desktop. Now, if you want to learn more about virtual desktop, the comparison of the graphics compared to, let's say, Oculus Link, head out to the link in the description below the like button, because we've done so many different videos comparing the graphics between Oculus Link and virtual desktop that I think they might be pretty useful. And the latest version of virtual desktop is actually top notch as the latency is really minimal. So, you know, definitely worth getting it for sure. Now, the fact that Oculus have accepted the competition to be back in the official Oculus store, what does this mean? Now, we need to speculate a little bit. It means one of three things, all right? First thing it means is maybe it's temporary because we know that Facebook are working on the Oculus Quest 3, which they will release in 22, 2022 at some time. And we also know that the direction of all the VR headsets are heading towards a wireless way of connecting to the PC. For example, the Pico Neo 2, which enables you to do just that. So it's quite right to assume that, you know, Facebook are heading in that direction too, and they will need some technology to power it. So let's assume that perhaps it's possible that virtual desktop will be the software to power that, in which case maybe Facebook will buy out virtual desktop because normally Facebook don't take any prisoners. So it is, you know, we can assume that of course they're just going to dangle a big fat check in front of Gigodan's nose and uh, say, well, you know, that's it. We're going to buy from you or otherwise goodbye forever. That's one possibility. The other possibility, of course, is that, you know, Facebook with all the various different lawsuits, you know, for anti-competitive breaches in the laws around the world, perhaps they're just being nice. Let's just assume that Facebook is being nice. They just woke up one day and went, you know, we should do at least one nice thing today or this year. Why don't we get Gigoda on our official platform just to show the world that we're just being nice. Who knows, that could also be a possibility. Or option number three, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's just temporary and then Oculus will, Facebook will officially launch their own version of the software, in which case, you know, virtual desktop is only there for whatever amount of time and, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. But of course, we hope that that's not the case. Whatever happens, it is very welcome and we would like to congratulate you, Guy Godin, if you're watching this video because it is awesome news for the VR industry and we also hope that Guy Godin could work with other VR hardware manufacturers, for example, Pico or with whoever it might be, to help them to implement some of his technology there because I personally feel they could really benefit from it and it would be a great win for the industry as a whole. So Guy Godin, please don't sell out if you can, 
It would be great to have you around because honestly speaking, there aren't that many people who have his intellect and skills to really elevate the industry as he's done.